Hey now. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Game time. We're back. This is uh, the second half of our week 10 recap of the NFL. We're done talking Sunday games. We're going to move on to some fun stuff. And uh, before we start, Matt, the yeah. podcast was Last Second Sports. They do a great job over there. They do kind of what we do. They're more focused on specific teams and matchups, but it's a cool podcast over there. Last, last second sports. Last second sports. Sports. Yep. All three spelled words. out. Yep. Three yep. words. And okay. yep, you look that up and they got a bunch of shit going on there. So it's pretty cool, man. Okay. I want to so, make sure we got them. Right on, dude. Yeah. Anytime we can shout out somebody else that's, you know, in this ballpark, we yeah, will do right. it. Same whether it's thing. whether it's music or them doing another podcast talking football, don't yeah. matter. Uh we're going to do a Super Bowl winners draft. So we're going to we're going to do it snake draft format. Whoever gets the first pick, the next person gets the next two picks, so forth. Snake draft. Yeah. We'll get lost in the snake draft at some point and get confused. But <laughs> yeah. One two We'll work one, through it, man. Two, two, we all have our teams ranked in front of us. Jimmy, we're going to do a coin toss for the first pick. Call it in the air. Tails. It's tails. Holy shit. See, Brad's out here. I finally fucking Yose- want something. It's a Yosemite man. quarter. Yeah. Tails. Yosemite. All right. So do you want the first pick or do you want the second and third pick? Because it's, you know, can go win either the way Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Oh, man. Because I want to learn who you're going to take. I'll, I'll go. I'll go two. I'll take two. You're going to take two and three. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. So with the first pick in the Super so Bowl they- draft. To win the Super NFL Bowl winners, Super Bowl. yes. X L I V I L. Yep, I got the pa- I got the Packers. You son of a bitch! I got the man. Packers first, man. Because Aaron Rodgers is not to be fucked with this year, man. He's a man on a mission. Yeah. I know the Bucks beat him in Lambeau last year, but if the same matchup occurs again, even being a Bucks fan, I would. If I was using my brain, I would go the other way and say the Packers beat the Bucks in the Super Bowl this year. That's tough yeah. to say for me, but I could just see it. It's tough. It would be tough to get Rodgers two years in a row in the playoffs. Yeah. Especially if they continue on and get the one seed and the game's in Lambeau. So. Yeah, that is going to be a fucking – that'll be an – if we get Rodgers and Brady two years in a row this late in their careers – That'll just be so cool, man. Yeah. Like getting spoiled, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But that would have been my pick. So, oh, fuck, man. Um, oh. And we talked about it before. But, yeah, while you're sitting there thinking, we talked about it before. Aaron Rodgers has never really had, like, a top-notch defense. The never. Packers' defense looks really, really good right now. Yeah. So, we talked about their numbers earlier. And, yeah, they they are. They're They're – they're performing better than they ever have for Rodgers, for sure, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, with that, I fuck. It's t- it's a t- it's tough between like the Rams and I, I. I would take the Bucks over the Rams, so I'll go Rams. I'll go Bucks and. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'll go Bucks and Titans. Bucks and Titans. That's high to take the Titans. No Derrick Henry, but I they're gonna get I mean, him right now. The they playoffs. look they look as good as anybody right now. I don't know. They I've heard those rumors. I don't know how you can count on him coming back in the playoffs. Is that okay? Because it was like Schefter came on and said, like, people have done this in that time, and it wouldn't yeah. even be it, like week 10 would be pushing it or some shit they said, or week 16, maybe it was like. I, that's a huge difference. I get that. Yeah. But it was I'm week saying, 16. Like, Let's say it was week, week 16. Yeah, would be it tough. would be pushing it, but like, it's not even like, no doubt he'd be able to come back. And if they get him back healthy in the playoffs, no team in the, in the AFC outside of really Cleveland. And I, who knows what you're going to get with them with Baker getting hurt every week. Um, they can run. No, you know, no team can run the, the Patriots. would. I mean, shit, the Patriots are in really, they would be scary in there. Cause I'm trying to think of teams in the AFC that can run the ball. Well, and, uh, and the Titans, I think do it the, you know, better than anybody. Yeah. Okay. Know, so yeah, it's, this is with Derrick Henry. Hopefully he comes back. If, you know? Yeah. I'm, I hear I'm you saying that like, it's, I don't know. I but hear the Rams, you. 
or the Bucks and then the uh, Titans. That's what I said, right? Okay. Okay. Not bad. I I'm looking at the next few teams I have in my rankings, and just because we've taken two NFC teams already, the Packers and the Bucks, I'm gonna. I'm just going to decide I'm going to go AFC with my next two picks here in a row. And I'm going to go Bills and Chiefs with my next two picks. Because I feel like those are two. In that order. You can't count either of those teams out. Yeah, in that order. Bills right. first, Chiefs second. I, I did pass up the Cowboys, which are yeah. a strong candidate. But just, right, let's, let's have that discussion now. Because in the NFC, you know, where – where do the Cowboys compare to the Packers and the Bucks? Did have we seen enough to say that they have it all? I mean, two weeks ago the Broncos ran it down their throats. Right. Atlanta, Atlanta, who they whooped yesterday, didn't have the capability to threaten them, pounding it, you know, just pounding the run game on them. So, and I think that's what separates the Packers even higher because they're the one team that's proven, kind of no matter who their back was yesterday, it didn't matter. And they were still able to run the ball really effectively against. I know Seattle's not great, but it's like a good. They, they were competitive. They had to be competitive yesterday. And under Pete Carroll, you're not going to not play. So, yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, man. Like I don't. I think that the Cowboys are a little behind. The I'd Bucks actually, and the Packers. I actually put yeah, and I put but I put the Cowboys up above, above the Rams. The Rams, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I did too. I did. It's too. a really tight one because it, to me it comes down to. Do you trust Dak or Stafford more? You know, and I and also I trust that Ram the Rams defense is just better. Like they have better talent, and they're yes, just, they're a better, they're better. Yeah, like the, the the playmakers the Rams have on defense, the Cowboys would love to have. Like I know Diggs is playing well, but you know he's no he's not Jalen Ramsey. No, dude, he and makes no one, he makes splash plays. He doesn't shut people down. No, we've seen no one, him give up. 60 yard burned. touchdowns a few times. By he Denver. gave one up to Timmy Patrick. Yeah, a right. I'm like, he ago. got burned by Denver. Yeah. And it, and it's like, dude, yeah, Jalen and and no one like no, there's nobody really like another corner like Jalen, you could say, I guess. And Diggs isn't really near him in that conversation. And mm-hmm. on that, no one really in the league is like Aaron Donald. So until the Cowboys get a guy on the line like that, it's yeah. like, dude, no one really requires the attention of three linemen. So that being said, though, where we're at right now, you got you have the sixth and seventh pick in this draft. The Rams and the Cowboys look like my right next there. two teams. Yeah. Are you is that where you have to go with these two picks in a row? Is Rams Cowboys? I don't really see an argument around that. Yeah. Um for fun's sake, I can do something different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Rams. Rams, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh Patriots. I'll okay. Them right All there. right. Just a long shot on the and Patriots. It's because I think the that the way they're playing right now, it's the NFL needs to pay attention. And even if it doesn't affect it this year, I think in going in the future, man, just the way Max plan, he's not trying to, we yeah. talked about it, not trying to do too much. And on a they don't have Sunday, a weakness. They don't, no, have, the Pats do not have a weakness. I know they're not special, but. It's one of those where if you're going against like though a matchup, so if they played the Chiefs, that could get ugly, like it could because they can't keep up with a team like that. But if like the game flow goes in their direction, I they're going to be hard to beat, man. No, they could no, get the Chiefs this year, though. You, there's a way they goes, could. Right, it yeah. would have to just. But if it gets like early on, you know, if a turnover happened, but that's the Patriots. They're not turning it over, man, and they have the best defensive coordinator in the history of the league. Still, and I think they have Patricia back now too. So they got all the old faces back there working together, dude. And they and they got the boys back that took the year off last year for COVID. And like McCordy bro, or one of them's back, one of the McCordy guys. And I just it's Bill, man. And again, like you said on part one tonight, like no one wants to go in there. No one wants to see in the playoffs. Fuck, we get we get to yeah. go to New England. It doesn't even matter if it is in New England. Yeah, it doesn't nobody matter. wants to play that team anywhere no. in the playoffs this year. They just year. have that formula down for playoff football that we haven't seen in a while. Lately, it's been the Chiefs with these high flying or the Niner, you know, big high flying offenses. And it's like, you know, even Brady threw three touchdowns last year's Super Bowl. And yeah. now it's like, man, Belichick's getting back to that old school. He's always ahead of the curve. When he drafted uh, Gronk and then, uh, the tight end Hernandez. Yeah. 
Everyone and was then like, they the just f- had two tight ends that nobody could handle. Yeah, like, you didn't know what the hell to shit. do with them. And they lost yeah. the Super Bowl that year to the Giants. But I mean, that year they were doing shit that no one had ever seen with those four. Mate. He's always ahead, and now he's bringing it back full circle to maybe like getting back to. Because he was probably ahead of the curve with the way that Patriots all was in 07. Yeah. So. I mean, I would love to spend a season with Bill Belichick, just seeing like what he says. Like, what does this dude know that so many other yeah, people what's don't? He doing? Because it's obvious that he has a better understanding of it than well, there's a lot shit of people. And that and people that are living they're not a super it. talented team, but they're no. way better than you know, 80% of the teams. He in knows the how to draft everyone to be good at the one thing he wants you to be good at. And outside of that, you could be a shit player. But if you play yeah. rugby at fucking wherever and you can block, you could probably, you know, he could find a spot for you. And yeah, it's like, dude, he'll look at shit like in the football life on in, on YouTube. It, he's like, where, where was it? Where's the coach lined up right now? I can't see him on the sideline. He's worrying about where the coach on the other team is yeah. calling the play from. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, because he probably has watched film and been like, yo, anytime he's right on the 33. He's looking for he's this. He's calling a running yeah. play. It's crazy. Anytime he's on a 49-yard line, yeah. he's calling a passing play. Yeah. He'll be down like this if it's a pass. He'll be up like this if he's being conservative. All that shit. He looks at all that. I mean, they've been caught filming the Bengals sideline a couple of years ago, yeah. and the Bengals weren't shit. And they were, yeah, they didn't need to film the Bengals, but how do you get an advantage, man? You sneak people with Patriots credentials into their fucking film room and say, yeah, we're supposed to shoot the sideline for a documentary we're doing. It's like, well, what documentary requires you to film a film our sidelines? And the dude was like, oh, well, I can delete it, man. No problem. And they're like, no, no, no. You don't realize this is you've already the crime's already done, man. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like yeah, I we won't. Thought, nobody will ever watch it again. I promise. No, that's what he said. He's like, I'll just delete. It. No, he's like, once I get it off the card, no one sees it again. And and the guy for this Bengal security is like, dude, the crime you already have it. Yeah, I, I'm still trying to see how this is for game footage. Yeah. Like you're showing the side. You could delete like, oh, it, but ten people could have already watched it. Not even it's... that, but it's like, dude, how many other cameras do you have? How much other shit yeah. like didn't we catch? And so yeah, man. I mean. That is fucked up. I respect is, Belichick so much, but that is fucked up that it they is. did that. Because you know? this was this was just a few years ago. Jay Glazer, I mean, this was in 17 or 6. He got caught doing it again. And the people come, it's on YouTube. They come up and they're like, Sir, what are you doing? What are you filming? And they're watching what the dude's filming. And all he's doing, it's just filmed on the Bengals sideline. And the Patriots yeah. aren't even playing there till like two weeks from then. So it was, yeah. man, there is shady shit but yeah oh I yeah he doesn't waste any opportunity to get no, gain an no advantage stone, no stone goes overturned or unturned yeah. or whatever the fuck unturned is. yeah all right so you went rams patriots all right the the cowboys are still on the board here so i gotta take the cowboys they're a they're a contender for the super bowl I, like this year. Them cowboy. I will i will expect them to lose in the first round of the playoffs even if they like end up playing like say the eagles sneak into the playoffs and oh, play no, the Cowboys. Would... I could see the Eagles like knocking them out suck, in the first man. round. How can they do that? <laughs> yeah, I could I see it happening. It. I wouldn't mind that actually. Yeah, though. it would um, validate that. Broncos that's on ball. brand for the Cowboys of the last twenty years. Yeah, to have a yeah, good yeah. season and then first round home playoff game, even if they're coming off of a bye or something. Say they get the one seed and they have a bye. Yeah, and then a. They come out and a shitty yeah, wild card yeah. team comes to town and just beats yeah. I'm their trying ass. to look at who that would be on. It here. could be the like, Eagles. Yeah. It could be, um, say, the Cardinals fall and they yeah. are a wild card instead of a division winner. Say the Rams win the division. Yeah, it could be yeah, them. yeah. See um, what's going even on. Even maybe maybe you throw the Panthers in there as a long shot. Seattle goes on and on and comes Dallas. in there and beats them. I don't see it with Seattle. Yeah, I really nah, don't. I think Seattle's. Yeah, they're they're done. They, yeah, they and need, I think Russ is out at the end of the year. I think that I think he should be, yeah. but yeah. not because I don't think Russ should. Uh, I don't think Seattle shouldn't want to bring back Russ. I think Russ should not want to come back to go Seattle. Back. Yeah. yeah, just the way the franchise has been run or like the organization since he fucking got there. It's like they kind of fucked. They paid him but they pissed off every veteran in the process. And it's yeah. like, dude, so, you know, going forward, like if you get a hurt, your money, you're not going to get guaranteed money yeah. probably and shit like that. Okay. So I'll take the Cowboys with my first pick. 
Second pick gets tough. I'm, I got the Ravens and the Cardinals, and then the Chargers as like an outside pick here. And I will go with the Cardinals just because I think that's a team that has a good offense and a good defense. The, you know, the Chargers and the Ravens, I can't say the same about them having a good defense right now. So I'll take yeah. the Cardinals, and I really don't feel good about it. I don't see the Cardinals winning the Super Bowl this year, but we're at, you know, we're at our ninth choice between the right. two of us. So it's getting thin. So mm-hmm. I left, I left you with the Ravens, the Chargers, the Bengals, the Browns. If you throw, if you even try to make an argument for the Browns, I will just, I will chug an entire well, beer and let laugh. me tell you something, man. <laughs> They, they run would, the ball. They yes, got they Baker do. Mayfield they as their quarterback. Yeah, they do. Ugh. And <laughs> their defenses look good. Um, you took the Cardinals, so yeah, I'm gonna yeah, you better chug that beer because I'm going Ravens and Browns. Yeah, there you go. And don't finish till it's gone, bitch. Because let me tell you a few things while you're drinking. Well, the Ravens for all obvious reasons, and we know that they they could obvi- they could easily make it. Just because of the quarterback, the way they play, their head coach. I think they, yeah, they've been in tight games. They've won a lot of tight games they probably shouldn't have. And I think that's impressive to do. Those wins are going to add up in the end. That remains to be said. When Nick Chubb is running the ball, they might be the best offense in football. Maybe the history of the league. And when he's running the ball, good. They got a great, dude, they got a great formula. When they're healthy, they are tough to beat. Now, that's a big you win. Don't- I don't know when you don't win three early. playoff games doing that, though. You don't do it. Uh, you need your that, quarterback to win you games in the playoffs. People said this same thing about Eli Manning before he won against the Patriots. And I was Eli saying, Manning made some fucking huge throws to win those playoff games. Baker hasn't been in that. Baker, he tried to make a big has throw. he ever made a fourth quarter comeback? I, I, I don't, I can't know. I come don't up with the numbers. Right I don't, I, I don't I know, know that he college, hasn't. I've never seen college it. You did, but I don't know about, I, I don't know. I don't have those numbers right here. What I do know is like I've told you, well, I got in, we're going, you know, slim did you watch Baker here. play yesterday though? Case Keenum would give him a better chance. I would argue. I've heard that, but I, I don't know how hurt K, uh, Baker is right now either. I think he's I too tough know. to like actually tell people. And he's been, he's been drilled lately, man. He's been knocked on his ass. So I, I mean, and uh, down to this point, I mean, what am I supposed to take the Colts and have an argument for that? I mean, I would take the Browns over the Bengals. Yeah, I mean, they already whooped their yeah. ass. Anyway. So you had Ravens and then Browns. Browns. You had Ravens and Browns. Yeah, I mean, the other teams out there, you could have taken the the Chargers or the Bengals, say. Right. I mean, and that's a like, stretch. Yeah. That's the same. That's a good as good of a stretch as picking the Browns. I'll give you that. Yeah, and I trust the Browns' formula in games more than I've seen from the Chargers. Like, the Chargers are becoming a pretty inconsistent team, like, as the year progresses. They didn't start off that way. But, like, more games, it's like, Jesus, like, you you don't know what you were getting early in the year. You kind of knew. So, it's starting. I saved them in that survivor pool, for instance, for a while. And it's like, now I'm like, shit, man, was that – are they good? Like, can I take them, you know? Right. I mean? Like, it's yeah. like, shit, I don't know if that's the team that I was hoping – for so but when i really look at it here i'm going through our rankings i thought it was a good draft one yeah. two three four five six i'm seeing six teams i could i think i can almost safely limit it to six teams yeah I that i truly that. believe will win the super bowl and those right. six i see are packers bucks bills chiefs rams cowboys Anything outside of that, it would take some kind of craziness. Yeah. Those are the six I'm seeing that are kind of like those teams have everything I see it takes to win the Super Bowl. Not saying they don't have weaknesses, but those are like Super Bowl cal- caliber teams. And all of them have – it's all teams with good quarterbacks. Packers, yeah. Rodgers, Bucks, Brady, Bills, Josh Allen, Chiefs, Mahomes. Rams, Stafford. Yeah, we haven't seen it in the playoffs, but he's a solid quarterback on a stack. Yeah, team. I mean, we haven't and seen then him. Cowboys, him. Dak. Those are the six teams I could actually like picture reasonably winning the Super Bowl. Didn't? No, okay. I'm thinking. I thought of... you were about to bring up Denver. I was like, oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. 
<laughs> that's a good draft pick. No, fuck that. they're not. No, I was trying to remember if Stafford played in a playoff game. I thought he played in one against at Lambo. They made the, the playoffs once, I think. Yeah, but let's I see. was thinking it was on that um that Gramsie. catch. But yeah, Graham's it with the stats. Oh, but, ca- that wasn't the Calvin Johnson was, getting screwed. That wasn't no, in the playoffs. That was, was against the Bears in a regular season. Okay. Game. Because I was confusing it with Des Bryant's catch, and the, that was in the playoffs. Yeah, that was a like a travesty. team wearing white, like it looked with silver helmets. I was like, it kind of reminded me of that game. But God, that was a fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, man. Stafford's zero and three in the playoffs with the Lions. Props to him for getting them there three times. Though. Yeah. What years was that? Uh, it doesn't say here in the the research yeah, I have. I Gram- what- Gramsci's <laughs> coffee's wearing off. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> All right, so let's let's wrap up the Super Bowl draft there. I thought that went pretty good. It was a good yeah, time. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's fun to pick those because right now it's starting to – right now it's like the most random it might be. Like, Well, even to say know. that there's like six legitimate teams that have like a super good chance at it is kind of rare. Usually we have a team that's like 10-0 and 0 right now or yeah, there's like one team that's 10-0 and 0 and two that are 9-1. and 1. And like one that kind of looks the part already, and you're like, all right, yeah. they're 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 yeah, you know, they're so, gonna be doing it. Yeah, looking at the standings, no team has less than two losses. How many times in week 10 of the NFL can you say that every team has lost twice? That doesn't really happen often. The yeah. Steelers last year were like eleven and zero, and yeah. then completely went to shit. Yeah, it went like eleven you know, and zero, like eleven and three in like three weeks, and then usually there's a team that goes ten and zero, at least nine and zero, but usually yeah. there's some teams with less than two losses. Growing up, it felt like the, the Chiefs year. were like twelve and one, like every single year to start the season. The Chiefs would go yeah. like eight and zero, and like there would be talk of going undefeated, and then they would and, collapse, and they would never go undefeated. Yeah. And like they would all the coaches would come out and be like, "We're not care, we don't care about going undefeated." We care about one in the Super Bowl. It's like, well, you don't do fucking either. Yeah. You, know, you did, you did want, you did the, the, you did, you won it one time. So maybe it'd be cool to go undefeated. Your fans might get to yeah. see something. All know. right. So let's get, let's get on into Monday night football player prop picks. We pick player props every Monday night game. The game has already started, but that doesn't change my props. No. I have, I have Tyler Higby to score a touchdown at plus 175. I like a tight end to score a touchdown. Oh, gosh. George Kittle oh. just scored a touchdown. I'm oh, going to lose the Pops. Oh, I'm going to no. lose the Pops twice in the same year. He started two Washington football team running backs against me. He started fucking Antonio oh. Gibson and uh, whatever gotta be whatever shitting. McKissick's first name is. I'm oh, going to lose yeah. to him in JD fantasy. McKissick. If Kittle got a touchdown, there's a very good chance I'm going to lose to him. There's no flags. All right. <laughs> hope you're listening pops <laughs> <laughs> that would be this is your week but all right i'm gonna go tyler higby the other tight end on the other team to score a touchdown plus yeah. 175 you go ahead with your first prop because i got a number of them here all uh, right yeah, i got a few too um uh, what was the one that i had is like a good one now Oh, Cooper Cup over eight and a half receptions. I like Cup. that. I just think, yeah, it's minus over 103 or it was minus 103. I did that. So I think he could, uh, yeah, I don't think that's asking too much with Woods down. You know, I know that they said um, Odell, which we never really talk about because I think he's a waste kind of time to talk about. But um, they said he's starting tonight or he's playing tonight. He'll play. He'll but play. He'll, yeah, he'll They'll have a couple time. plays here and there. We'll see. Who knows if they is, hit or not? He is not. one of those guys, Ben, that um is a Monday night football guy. You know, Deshaun Jackson used to For be sure. like that. Yeah, that always score a touchdown and make a big play on those primetime games. So you got him I to would, score a touchdown? No, I don't. Have, no, I'm just saying. I was bringing up Cooper Cup, just kind of talking about the other receivers that they do have. Because I looking through them, I mean Jefferson's it's was four and a half over four and a half plus one ten. It's not a bad bet there. Kittle over five and a half, you know, plus 114. Those are kind yeah. of the receiving ones. I now would that think. he's already caught a touchdown, why not mark that one down? Why not yeah. take Kittle to score a touchdown while well, you dude, have your chance? That's, that's what I told you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I told you last night, though, when I did the uh, 
Oh, was Travis Kelsey and Just Tyreek. Been over receptions. Dude, it was insane. Last night, yeah. Travis Kelsey and Tyreek against the Raiders each were oh the over. I think on the Chiefs, that's easy to do because who are they throw? They're throwing the ball to Kelsey and they're throwing the ball to Hill. Tyreek. Yeah. They don't have another good option. Daryl Williams had like 10 catches last yeah, night. Yeah, he had a hundred yards. That never two. happens before. He's never had a hundred. That's yard not going to happen again. He's never either. had a hundred yard game rushing or receiving, and his first game comes as a receiver, and I he's on my bench. Yeah, fucking Mo. Kiss Good week in fantasy. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it was a. You'll get him in the playoffs, on. man. I told Mo the same thing. Around. I'll get your ass in the playoffs because Mo's team sucks. It's just a bunch of fucking garbage guys that yep. are on mediocre teams. That when it comes to late in the season. Those teams yeah. are going to get shut the fuck down. And, and I got a lose. stable of running backs just waiting to come back healthy, baby. Yep. Chubb and uh, and Montgomery for the Bears. And yep. Taylor, too. I would trade you half my team for Jonathan Taylor right now. He's a beast, man. <laughs> well, that was Mo. He's the, the best draft. fantasy player this year, in my Mo opinion. Mo in the draft? Yeah. Was saying, who's going to be the idiot to take Taylor in, in our, in our yeah. chat? I got to be honest. He kind of made me think twice about it. I was like, gosh, if Mo I, said you're an idiot for doing when it. When he was saying that, I was like, I have to. got to go the opposite. Yeah. yeah I'm like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. If I knew Mo like I know him now, I would have said the same thing. I'd be like, God, that dude's dumb We're as fuck. Mo I'm taking him with minutes, my next pick. Ripping on him for a five-minute segment. <laughs> guys, yeah, at the, guys, at the, guys. guys, at the 10-minute mark, it was just ripping on me. Guys, it just wasn't right. Yeah. I mean, so, no, but uh, – But yeah, you I like think, Cup over eight and a half receptions. Yeah. You like and Kittle I, over – what is it? Four and a half. Five and a half. It was five over, and a half. Kittle over five and a half receptions. Yeah. I hope and, that doesn't happen. And it was – uh. I think for anyone that likes to bet and shit, you look at those over on the receptions every week in a game that you just want to watch. Because this week, like last night with the Sunday night yeah. game. And at halftime, you're like, oh, I'm three. I got three. I just need two. It's fun. Two exactly. more in the second half. Right. And it's yeah. like, dude, it's catches. But And when you do a team like the Chiefs against the Raiders, it's like, dude, that's a pretty solid bet that they're going to yeah. have a lot of catches, man. So. Yeah. Good point. I like the second one I got here is Elijah Mitchell over 64 rushing yards. Yeah. I know the Niners offense, it's um very heavy run offense. So let me just, I mean, they got Elijah Mitchell running the ball and who the fuck else? What, some Wilson, the Wilson volleyball from Castaway is yeah, their backup exactly. running back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like yeah. give me Elijah Mitchell, 64 rushing yards, just break one for 30 and give me the other half on a on your other 10 carries. So yeah, and mine don't he, need a monster game. The rushing on mine for the Niners, there wasn't even like another dude. It was just uh it was just Elijah. It was just Mitchell. Or no, okay. it was Mitchell. You're starting to sound like Joe Buck. Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell. 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 Down to the 35. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else is gonna get that reference except Nobody, for us, yeah. too. But that's uh, but right. yeah, it's him and Garoppolo are the only two Niners on the over under for rushing yards on Bovada when I looked it up. So yeah, I mean, he should be in good. That should okay. be okay. Other one bad. I have here for absolutely no reason, um, a safety to happen plus eight hundred. I love those, man. Let's take, let's have a safety tonight. Yeah. Johnny Hecker is a really good punter. Hecker pins him at the half yard line. The Rams tackle him in the end zone. Safety plus eight hundred odds. Let's get Garoppolo it. Garoppolo pull, pulls some Garoppolo shit. Scrambles yep. in his own end zone or a holding call in the end zone. Yep. Their line's a little beat up. You can get that one. Yeah, those are fun. I mean, I got longest touchdown, like over and under. These are all di- – I'm looking yeah, at Yeah, what's the number of yards? 39. 39. Let's take touchdown. the over on yeah, longest touchdown. over on that, dude. yeah. Let's take under, it. Unders plus 100, so that is, yeah. I mean, that's like a – they know what's up in that one. Yeah, you know they saying? almost feel like they'll be a 50-yard yeah, bomb they're like, at some dude, point. It's the Rams, man. They're going to hit yep. somebody or a big run, like you said, by anybody. Yeah. Who's this other white receiver on the Rams, number 18? Because Cup wears 10, doesn't he? They got some other white receiver out there yeah. running routes, number I 18. See yeah. Not sure who that is. Gramsy. He nearly broke his ankle trying to fucking jump up and <laughs> catch that. a ball. Yeah. All right. But let's go. Let's wrap up there, man. Let's go enjoy the game. Yep. That was a good one. Oh, week. oh, pick six. Niners. 14 nothing. What did I tell you? Niners could blow them out tonight, man. I'm back on the Shanahan train. 
Oh, we'll no. see y'all next week. Oh, no. Here <laughs> we'll we go. see y'all next week to recap. Yep, yep. All right. We'll cheers, be y'all. Beers Let's and bets. Shanahan bets. blow this one. Yep. Cheers, boys. Beers How big can the lead get for Shanahan to blow? Yeah. Let's we wait till it's 21 nothing, and then live and, bet the Rams. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, if you got yeah. anything in the bank, going on live now, bet the man. Rams money line. We're going to look like idiots Let's on Let's see. Thursday, you know so. what? Yeah. We'll, we'll get it off air, but we'll see what the Rams money line is off air 14 right to nothing on. Niners right now. All right. That's insane. Right away. We'll see y'all on Thursday. Yep. Cheers, boys.